Hey everybody, Barry here again. Almost ready to put the heads on the engine. I would like to say I'm putting some exhaust on the rat rod, but not the case today. There seems to be a green pile of Arctic Cat on the lift. That has the everything removed. So for now, let's put some pistons in. The rods look good. No damage or anything that I can see. The bearings, they got some funky looking discoloration on them, but well, that'll go away rather quickly with oil, and I'll probably put sea foam in it for the first oil change anyway. The bearings themselves look really good. There's no scratches. There's no sign of any material removed, anything like that. So I'm just going to brake clean them and put them in there. Here is number one. And pretty much the plan is just... Clean some oil out of the threads and clean up that rod bearing a little bit. Try not to wipe the number one off of my top of my piston because <laughs> I got the rings gapped to each cylinder. And spray this side off. And really, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's got some funky looking stuff going on in those bearings. It's funny because they don't seem to be pitted or anything. But then I do have bearings out of another engine that look much better. Let's just compare these. Yeah, these got some dust on them. Wipe those off. They got a little bit of marks down here. As you can see, it's almost like they be worn more than this. Got a shiny spot down here on the bottom. Yep. I think I'm going to stick with these bearings. I know they're kind of freaky looking, but. Well. I shimmed and ported the oil pump. It's going to make pressure no matter what I do with it. Just give this whole thing a wipe down again. The cylinders actually aren't too bad. There's a couple small scratches in it, but I'm not even really concerned about that bit. I put them in that were like disgusting. So I'm not too concerned about a couple of little small scratches. Probably from the piston rocking in the cylinder. Might get a little bit of background noise because my wife's detailing a car over there, but well, we'll power through it. So how am I gonna do these rings? Just like opposite, I guess, and stay away from the oil rings. So oil ring is there, compression can be here. Compression on top is fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now comes the scary part. I never care about compressing rings or putting pistons in. That's because I always use used rings. Except for today. Except for this time. God, this is always terrifying. And goes the power washer. Ready to go. All right. Dot forward. Let's just kind of put that on there. Let's hope this works the first time. <laughs> oh, look at that. I didn't break a ring yet. Wait, I didn't break a ring. Good. I probably could have put it on a little bit straighter, but that's it. I'm just gonna put it up a little bit further. And can't forget our assembly grease. Hopefully, this 
this will sort of straighten out as it's going up, and I think it will. There we go. Mint. Now, remember which way this rod cap goes. I think it's this way. Yep, there we go. I'm just gonna gun all these down, and when I get all of them put on, then I'll torque all of the rod caps so that I make sure I don't forget any. Looks good to me. Let's do the rest of them. I've got all the rods and pistons in, all bolted in, but they are not torqued. And well, this is for my reference. <laughs> I need to go back and retorque them all. So it looks really good. Everything went in without a hitch. No issues whatsoever. And I'll make sure the crank spins before I go any further when I get my wrench hooked up to it. And now comes the fun part. 15 degrees and 75 foot pounds. Better double check that. 15 foot pounds, 75 degrees. Don't mix that up. Alrighty, delicious. We have rotating assembly. Does that make it a short block now? I think that makes it a short block. That's exciting. I think I'm actually ready to bolt the everything on. Windage tray, oil pickup, then oil pan, heads, front cover. It's all, it all revolves around this. Oh, I'm so excited. And bolting those parts on doesn't cost any money. Forgive me for the noise. Cass is cleaning another car. It's a new day. I've got the pistons in and I was like, what do I do now for the rest of the 15 minutes of video? This is going in a whole different direction. Cass bought me a motorcycle for Father's Day. How cool is that? And it's exactly like her bike, which she's been painting. The only thing she has left to paint is the gas tank over there. And then her bike is completely black and purple. And it is super cool. 84 Shadow 750, 84 Shadow 750. So we actually have matching bikes. Just awesome. This thing runs absolutely like a bag of dirt. And I want to chop it up anyway. I don't like having this back seat and all that junk there. So we're going to get rid of that and I gotta pull the tank off so that I can take the carburetors out and clean those. It runs awful. Let's fix it up a little bit. It doesn't look like the same bike anymore. <laughs> it came apart relatively quick until I took off this throttle return spring down there and everything went bring and well, I got to figure that out. But well, the carburetors are almost off. So at least now I can replace the fuel lines that are original, I'm assuming. I assume they're original. That's gross.
I'm kind of bombing through this one just to make it quick, but I just showed on a time lapse. I don't know if it's going to show it too fast. Look at this little filter that is right in under the needle and seat where the gas goes into the carburetor. Look down in there. That's supposed to be whistle clean. And I can tell you that it, in fact, is not. Wow, that is, that is actually disgusting. Wow. Let's see if I can get some of that out to look at there. Look at that. It's like, where is it? Right there. It's like rocks or, well, obviously it's dirt, but what an absolute mess that is. I'm so glad I found something though. I can't believe that actually worked. I didn't pour all of the gas in. That's not that hot looking. It's just got a peculiar color, doesn't it? And it's kind of sandy looking. I wiped this bucket out before I poured the gas in there, by the way. Almost like art. Yeah, microfiber. I couldn't find a, a paint strainer, but it worked, so that's great. Good soup. The main question is, will it run? Will I pass out from gas fumes? One of these questions will be answered with a yes. Well, let's try it. I'm gonna let the pump run for a sec. Give it a chance to fill the carburetor bowls up. Oh, cool. It's pouring gas out. Isn't that wonderful? That's exactly what I was hoping for, actually. Attempt number two. The clamps weren't quite as clampy as they could have been. Let's try again. Inspect for clampiness. Check. I think it might be in gear. It is in gear.
It's still in here. Work. All right, now we're good. take better. That's good. That's the first time it would do that actually, so that's pretty cool. I've still got a few things to sort out on it, but so far, much better. I like it. I have a super headache. I got some pistons in. The bottom end is assembled. That's amazing. I have a super headache. A lot of gas fumes going on. There's a bucket behind me with gas and dirt in it. And my eyes feel like they're crossed. So I'm, I think I'm gonna finish it up here and go home and detox maybe. Well, motorcycle runs, that's something. I'm gonna drive it home in the rain. It's like four degrees out Celsius. It's gonna be a good time. So thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks for YouTube members, patrons and subscribers. If you want to check out my Patreon, it's patreon.com slash stationroadratrods. My YouTube members link is down here. And thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.